represents that part of the Fresno area that the president is going to be visiting, and he is a Republican. We found you, sir. We've been looking for Republicans in California for years, and we got you. Well, thanks very much. There are more, there are more and more of us every day. We just won the uh, election for a uh, mayor yeah. in San Diego, and I think we're going to see some big pickups in the legislative and congressional delegations this year. Now, the anti-fracking people say you cannot go after all that natural gas that you've got under the ground in California because fracking uses a lot of water and you've got a drought. Would you stick your neck out, Congressman, and say, I don't care, we're going to frack because we need that energy. Would you do that, sir? Oh, absolutely. You know, everybody thinks that the Colorado's the mother load of all water in the western United States. It's a junior sister to the Sacramento. Uh, the Sacramento has a much greater water flow. The difference is uh, we store 70 million acre feet on the Colorado and only 10 million acre feet on the Sacramento. Uh, you know, droughts are a natural condition. They happen from time to time. But that's no excuse for a water shortage in one of the most water rich regions of the country. Uh, the problem is we're not doing, uh, uh, we haven't built a major new storage facility since 1979. So we've been pounding the table on this program saying, look, California is sitting on a pot of gold. Um, is it part of your re-election campaign? Because I know you're standing again in November. Are you going to go out there and say, come on, we want to frack. We want to do this. Are you gung-ho like that? Well, look at North Dakota. Uh, uh, the, it has the lowest unemployment rate in the country, a booming economy. Uh, that's by developing their Bakken Reserve. That's about, I believe it's about two or three uh, 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 million barrels. California is sitting on the Monterey Reserve. That's about 15 million barrels. We have the highest unemployment rate in the country. Our economy is a basket case, and yet the government won't allow us to, uh, to develop that resource for the prosperity of, of all of the people of California. Sir, are you uh, going to meet the water, president? Water should, not, water should not be an excuse if we were building the storage that we could be building right now. I mean, simply raising Shasta Dam to its, uh, to its design level uh, would almost double the water storage throughout the Sacramento region, about 9 million uh, acre feet. Uh, almost out of time, Congressman. Are you going to meet with the President today? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't want your photograph with the President because you're standing for re-election. Is that well, about he's, it? Uh, I, you know, I've, I've read what he's going to be announcing. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, water storage. It has everything to do with handing out you know, uh, uh, welfare benefits when you know, we should be prospering from the resources that we have. Water, uh, uh, as you point out, uh, uh, huge uh, uh, oil reserves, uh, as, as well as many other natural resources that the federal government has choked off. Congressman? Tom McClintock, Republican. Glad we found you, sir. Come on back anytime. We do appreciate it. Thanks very much, sir. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Stuart. Check the big